entering the Rex Parade Den is like looking into the crew's very own crystal ball. The 2020 Rolling Tableau kicks off a new decade with ancient and modern signs and symbols. Our theme this year is omens and auguries. Every civilization has turned to the stars. Astrology was the first science. Um, every culture has its omens, its sibyls, and its superstitions, its good and bad luck black cats, ladybugs. I'm really partial to, to two, lucky ladybugs and flowers of spring. Both of these floats are just simply like taking a walk in a garden, uh, beautiful flowers of all sorts. The ladybug float is just, just rich with, with bursting blossoms and ladybugs everywhere. Royal Artists, a longtime New Orleans float builder, makes its Rex debut this year. We kind of lean into our strengths of being a small boutique operation. And for us, that is an emphasis on the artistry and historic Mardi Gras production uh, techniques. So we steer away for the most part from styrofoam or fiberglass and do all of our props with paper mache. All our props this year are made by Sky Airy, who's a very talented artist and a native from New Orleans and Noka grad. The technique we use was created by the Barth brothers, dry paper mache technique. We build up a frame in wood and then we build up with cardboard and paper using a contact cement. And then we put a kind of final finish on it, a more traditional paper mache with wallpaper paste, and then go to paint from there. One of my favorites is the Edgar Allan Poe float, the raven. I particularly love the calla lilies and the way the ravens are mounted. They're mounted in such a way that they're really going to flutter. And there's also the most subtle touch in the entire parade, and I always like the subtlety that one person in a thousand might notice. The eyes of the raven are covered in silver leaf. The more traditional look of this year's Rex includes vibrant colors and even more intricate three-dimensional flowers, a symbol of Carnival's past. One of my favorite is the Aurora float, which you can see right behind me. And Aurora is the goddess of dawn, and so she is actually thrusting her torch into the night sky. We really wanted to try to show the kind of passage of time on the side of the float itself. So we actually tried to have the flowers start as they're closed and they're in these kind of cool purples and pinks. And as the float progresses, they open up and they become warmer and they're in yellows and oranges. So you actually see dawn progressing along the side of the float. As the oldest parading organization, uh, Rex, I believe, is the guardian of an art form that is unique and is really worthy of continuing to preserve and to, to honor. In the 19th century, these parades consisted of rolling tableau, beautifully developed scenes that told a story that fit into a theme. Uh, what we continue to do is true to that tradition and to the very highest qualities of artistry. I love coming to the den and watching the, the, the parade come together to watch sculptors and painters and others uh, decorate these floats, but I love to see them on the streets. I'm proud of the Rex leaders who established these artistic traditions and these really high artistic standards. I'm really proud of our artists today who maintain those and continue to be true to that. Sometimes we look wistfully back and we talk about the years before World War I when beautiful parades were on the streets of New Orleans. Some call that the golden age of carnival. I like to think that the art we're creating now is worthy of that same designation, really a golden age of carnival.